So, uh, this might look a little bit different than what you expected. We've got a long story here. Um, so, I thought I had all the other SunDrop AWE games working. And, well, I was wrong. See, the last game would actually crash once I got in-game, but I could start it up correctly. Fortunately, I managed to find that it works if I run it in Windows 95. Here's the thing, this game's not supposed to run in Windows 95, really. Strictly speaking, it's supported, but Windows 95 doesn't have... If you're running Windows 95, you don't have the hardware that you need to run this game, in reality. And the thing is, Windows 95 emulation is really bad! And you're... You have to strike a balance between really bad emulated hardware that can't run the game and your actual physical hardware not being able to emulate the virtual hardware. So I have one I have one bit of good news. The the cutscenes are stuttering a lot while I play this on Windows XP. But here on Windows 95, the cutscenes don't really stutter. And that's the important part. We're here for the cutscenes, or at least I am. But the gameplay, uh, the gameplay, the all I can say is it's gonna be a lot harder for me than it is for you. Also, I can't show that because that's actually the show's opening. Um, I'll cut in footage from the first time I saw this here. Looks like it's all. Yes! 3D cutscenes! Name drop. Actually looks similar. Jeez. What, what went wrong? My plan was, was foolproof. I went to, to college. A little early for that, Lincoln. This week, the end. What's this? The obey plankton switch on my right robot generator was set to, to off. No! Robo Arcade <laughs> are the best, huh, Patrick? Oh, I wish robots were for people too. Wouldn't that, that be great? Let's gather gather all the robots and make a wish on the first falling clam we, we see. Okay. Oh. I wish robots were people too. Why is Patrick here? Why are you sleeping in my house, Patrick? Oh, hey, it's that lady! Oh, whoa! I don't know why it just cuts off there. The scene just cuts there. But what you just saw was... The slightly less skippy footage, I admit it still skips a little bit, but believe me, it was worse when I was playing on XP. The cutscenes were skipping a lot. And my recorded reaction the first time I saw this, when I tried to run this the first time. Also, if you're wondering what those extras are, I think they're demos for a few different AWE games. I don't know if they're all AWE games, but at least one of them is. One of them is a demo for a game that I think we'll play on this channel sometime soon. Also, interestingly, you probably won't have seen that the only other thing I've installed on this Windows 95 virtual machine is Hot Wheels Mechanics, which I had forgotten is actually another AWE game. This is not the first appearance of AWE on this channel, this bunch of AWE games, interestingly. Anyways. So we'll just tough it out. Bear with me, please, because believe me, I've, sp I've spent hours trying to get this to run as best as it can. 
It's not going to be great, but believe me, it's going to be worse for me because I'm the one that has to play the game this way. But I want to see it, and I want to finish everything as promised with these games. I wasn't skipping this much earlier. Recording this makes it even tougher on my computer. I've never seen the realistic fish head lose composure. It was just in your house. Patrick. It was just kind of creepy, but since he was there while you were sleeping. Anyways, I think it's a good thing that the it realistic the fish doesn't usually lose composure because because Mr. Lawrence starts slipping into his plankton voice a little bit. Alright, so it doesn't help that this particular minigame just controls awkward in general too. SpongeBob has a tendency to walk in your walk around the cursor in circles. But, by the way, this is as far as I've gone in the game. I haven't seen anything past this game here. I'm gonna do to make this work. I'm up here on top of me. The game's kind of buggy too. In case you're wondering. Since I've been speaking as if I'm actually familiar with the game so far. But anyways. So it seems like this game is mostly just comprised of a lot of different mini games. So we'll see how that turns out. Coast is clear. Yes, I have. But I, I prefer to survive after having found the billiard ball. Alright, so one unfortunate thing that is, though, this is always a reality recording stuff. It's one thing to get my computer to run this game in the first place on Windows 95, but it's another to get the game to run while recording it. The cutscenes don't skip at all if I'm recording this without. And if I'm not recording it, if I'm playing this without recording it. But, unfortunately it's not quite the same case otherwise. I imagine at some point I'm probably going to accidentally get hit by a car and you'll get to hear Spongebob's rather strange voice clips and reactions to getting hit by a car. Also, I think if you walk on the oil slick, you just Spongebob just falls over. I don't know if he gets stuck there forever or if you lose a life automatically or what, but you don't want to make that happen. Collisions for these cars are kind of big. I remember right. I think I might actually want to go around this way. Because the cars are always going to go to the... Um, I don't know. Cars alternate directions, which makes life a lot harder for me than it would otherwise be. SpongeBob! Otherwise be. That was one of his less ridiculous voice clips. For getting hit. Also, for some reason, if you get hit, the car start making a bunch of noise. It's really hard moving the mouse smoothly when it's running at like at five frames per second. But yeah, as I was saying earlier, SpongeBob has a tendency to run around your cursor in circles. Which oh, what? That's not what I wanted. I wanted. A, I thought that was a prop. Whatever. Which leaves him a lot more vulnerable. The world around him. No, that was a prop, but it said slow mo. What? Okay, I guess I did what I was supposed to do. It was a prop and a power up, I guess. They got the props on drop. That was also an extra life. How convenient! Except it wasn't a prop. Okay. These things aren't very clearly labeled. Uh, you guys need to move faster, because I'm stuck between a very oily thing and 
some cars right now. Here we go. SpongeBob! SpongeBob, you walked into the back of a car. Calm down. The fact that I have limited lives here is kind of concerning, though. Run, SpongeBob! Darn it! Come on, this, this game is playable, I assure you. You can do it, Bobby. Uh, come on. Are these cars bumper to bumper? Some of them move frustratingly slow, others frustratingly fast. It's a rabbit. I gotta assume that there's no car immediately to the right. Dude, I did. There's another toy thing, or whatever it is. Also, well, looks like shiny objects from Elf King Bottom for not PC. Some. How convenient that they all managed to stay together instead of rolling all around everywhere. But playing this game. So the reason I saved this particular game for last, in case you're wondering... Oh, come on. Spongebob. Among the PC games, despite actually coming right after Employee of the Month, chronologically, is because... That's not what I need? That's stock sound. I've heard that stock sound in some other game, I don't remember which. But, okay, this is just making me wait. Come on, game. But of course, this game shares the title of the most famous, well-known Spongebob game, that being Battle for King Bottom. So it's really fun getting to see how this is reinterpreted. How this concept is reinterpreted, the one that, that was so successful in one incarnation. Definitely less so in the GBA incarnation. That's actually, I think, my least favorite Let's Play on this channel. At least favorite game I played on this channel, um, Battle for King Bottom GBA. I did not enjoy that playthrough in the slightest. And while I don't expect this game to live up to the console version in any capacity, it is still a WWE, so I'm happy to see. Ah, oh, come on, SpongeBob, how they interpret it. And, with it being an earlier AWE game, we get those beautiful cutscenes that I love so much. Is that the whole game? Yes, okay. Thank you. So that took some time to get through. We'll see how long this playthrough takes with how slow these games are gonna run. But, cutscene. Every single time he said it, it skipped the same way. This I don't need to rely on frame rate for. This is great. Let's see how good I am at this while simultaneously talking about things and trying to memorize stuff. Oh, look at this. There's nothing rendering in 3D, so it actually runs on almost okay. Oh, it's sleepy time. Also, okay, frame rate. And whatever that is. But having to speak while playing a game makes it a lot harder to actually, like, function mentally. So that would also make it hard to memorize stuff. So I might just speak slightly less as I'm doing this so I don't embarrass myself. Amusingly, I do actually have a bad history with matching games. Back on Neopets way back in the day. On the first triple-A challenge I ever did, I managed to actually, I think it was a, like a month, I think what the event is, it's a month or so of having daily challenges you can try to beat in different Flash games on the site. And 
Why are, why do you get props for everything again? Oh, because we lost props from the shot. I told you my memory would be terrible. Hi, Plankton. But I managed to beat the score for everything, every day up until the last day, and the last day was a matching game of all things. I'm just gonna do this. I'm just gonna do this systematically. I love that sound. They're the same sounds they used in in Operation Krabby Patty. Of course, I also just have some nostalgia for Operation Krabby Patty. I would if I could, sweetie. Also, this episode should end about now, I guess. I'll end it when I finish this last round here. Alright, I'll finish it here. See you guys next time, then.